Hey, what's up? Aaron the Excited Wanderer here. Welcome to part 2 of the top 10 festivals in Japan. If you haven't checked out part 1, you can click on the top right hand corner of the screen now. Number 6, we have Osaka's Tenjin Festival. The Tenjin Festival is usually held for 2 days at the end of July and has been celebrated for over a thousand years. It is held in the Tenmangu Shrine, which is in the heart of Osaka city. Similar to other festivals, you can expect performances and dances here, but they also include a procession of boats on the Okawa River. The festival then ends with a bang with a grand display of fireworks. The next one, we have Aomori's Nebuta Festival. The word for giant floats in Japanese is Nebuta, and you'll find plenty of them here in the festival. The floats are accompanied by hundreds of dancers called Haneto, as they jump and move to the rhythm of taiko drums and flutes. If you happen to be wearing the traditional Haneto uniform, you can just jump in to dance as well. On the last night, the parades are replaced by a spectacular fireworks show. This festival is usually held in the beginning of August and attracts around 3 million people each year. At number 8, we have Sendai's Tanabata Festival. The Tanabata, or Star Festival, commemorates the beginning of summer in Japan. The locals will write their wishes on little strips of paper, then hang them on bamboo branches. When it is time for the festival, Sendai City will be filled with colourful decorations of varying sizes, from small to absolutely humongous. There's even a big fireworks display to look forward to. This festival usually takes place in early August. Number 9 is Tokushima's Awa Odori Festival. This is a festival of dance, with many of its dancers wearing colourful and vibrant outfits. The festival is celebrating the Obon, which is a time where spirits or family members are believed to temporarily return to the land of the living. The Awa Odori originated in Tokushima and features dance competitions between teams and it has a very lively and energetic atmosphere. It is usually held in the middle of August. Finally, for number 10, we have Gifu's Takayama Festival. We head to the Japan Alps in Takayama City for this festival. It is known by many people to be the most beautiful festival in Japan. This festival, surprisingly, is actually held twice a year, once in spring and the other in autumn, and it is celebrated at different shrines each time. The festival is known for its traditionally decorated floats with puppets. The craftsmanship of these floats is absolutely world-class and can be appreciated during the spring harvest, which is in the middle of April, or in the middle of October for the Autumn Festival. Have you been to any of these festivals before? Share your experiences in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.